Welcome to the Luxury Listing Specialist Podcast with Michael Lafito, where top luxury agents reveal their best practices, plus interviews with real estate industry influencers, thought leaders, and luxury marketing experts. You'll come away from each episode with new strategies and tactics to dominate high-end homes in any market. And now for the latest episode of Luxury Listing Specialist, here's your host, luxury real estate expert, coach, and trainer, Michael Lafito. Welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Listing Specialist podcast. You're in the right place if you're an agent, you're a broker owner, you're a team leader, and you're looking to work smarter, not harder, and you're looking to increase your average sale price of homes that you represent, both on the buy side and the listing side. And again, the podcast name is Luxury Listing Specialist Podcast, but again, we love working with luxury buyers as well. Each show, we try to interview either top producing luxury real estate agents, industry experts, or service providers that might fit a void or a niche that will help you as a broker owner, team leader, that sort of thing. So. Uh, today's show is is no different. I'm really excited. Uh, but before I introduce uh, today's guest, just a couple housekeeping items. First off, again, leave us a review. We don't have as many reviews. I get a lot of people commenting or reaching out to me saying they're loving the podcast. Do me a favor on iTunes or Stitcher. Leave us a review if you're getting value from this show because many times people might not even listen to the show if they don't see any reviews, as you know. And if you have invested in our book, go to Amazon and leave us a review for our book, LuxuryListingSpecialist.com. Excuse me, Luxury Listing Specialist is the name of the book. And if you don't have the book and you want a signed copy of the book, go to LuxuryListingSpecialistBook.com. LuxuryListingSpecialistBook.com will send you a signed book. All right, really excited about today's show. As many of you know, I speak across the country. I just helped facilitate a luxury mastermind at a big Keller Williams mid-year conference called their Mega Camp. Over 9,000 agents were there. And even during the mastermind, some of the questions that people were asking was about qualifying buyers that call on their luxury listings or perhaps qualifying buyers that when they represent the seller and a buyer's agent calls and wants to see 123 Elm Street tomorrow but doesn't show the proof of funds or letter from a banker, even though it clearly is stated in the multiple listing service. Has that ever happened to anybody? I know it's happened to us a lot. Real estate agents, unfortunately, they don't read the showing instructions or the agent remarks in the multiple listing service. If that's ever happened to you or that's a concern of yours as you are increasing your average listing price, and if you're getting some of those high-end and trophy listings, you need to take the extra precaution from a qualification standpoint to also a safety and security standpoint that you are not opening the door to unqualified buyers. So if that's something that is a concern to you, then today's show is going to be a home run for you. Again, you're going to want to stick around till the end. We're going to be giving away two free reports, one that's talking about millennials and luxury, and another that is titled the 2019 U.S. Millionaire Report. Amazing nuggets and information in those reports. We'll share with you how you can get those at the end, but you got to stick around to the end. All right. Today, I have two, uh, two special guests there with a company where maybe some of you have heard of the company, maybe some of you haven't, but after today, you will. Okay, there's a company out there that provides some amazing information for, for real estate agents and people outside of real estate. They provide some great reports. They have some amazing tools. Uh, and one of those tools uh, we're going to talk about extensively on today's show. But without further ado, do I have Anna and Andrew from uh, Wealth Engine on the call? Hi there, Michael. Hello. All right, perfect, perfect. So, Wealth Engine is the name of the company they work with, and they provide some amazing different tools and resources and for people outside of real estate, but we're going to be focusing, of course, on the tools that they offer that would be helpful and specifically about the topic that we just talked about. So, uh, Andrew, you and I have talked a little bit offline, and the first thing I want to talk about is play up this scenario where you know, I'm representing the seller at 123 Elm Street, and 
I either get a call directly from a buyer that's saying, hey, I, I saw one, two, three Elm Street, and let's just say in your market, for simple terminology, a million dollars is is where you think luxury begins. Again, luxury, we define luxury for our certification. Again, I'm the founder of the Luxury Listing Specialist Certification. We define luxury home prices as prices that are three times the average sale price for your given market. For this scenario, uh, Andrew, we're going to say that the average sale price for, for a given market, let's just say I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the average sale price is 333000 Multiply that by three, boom, a million dollars and above would be luxury. And let's say, Andrew, I have a $5 million luxury listing in that million-dollar luxury market. So it's, it's definitely like ultra luxury and no lockboxes, and making sure that the listing agent must accompany at showings, and I get a call directly from a buyer, and let's just say for the sake of this conversation, his name is, is, is Eric LeBan. So let's just say Eric LeBan calls me. He's unrepresented, and I don't know Eric from Boo. I don't know if he's qualified, so of course I can claim the seller, and I could say, hey, um, Eric, thanks for the call today. Uh, the seller requests that anybody that sees the home be uh, qualified. So either, A, Eric, do you have some kind of letter from a banker or, or uh, some kind of ta- uh, someone that does your taxes or even from a lender a pre-approval if you're going to get a mortgage? And, and let's just say he says yes, and he supplies me with some kind of letter. Uh, of course, I recommend everybody on this call calls the person that supplies the letter and just verifies, hey, I'm calling on behalf of Eric. He provided me a letter from your institution just calling to verify that you in fact wrote this letter. But that, that, so that's a given, you have to do that. If you're not doing that, you owe it to your sellers, uh, you owe it to yourself. You have to make sure you know who you're opening the door to on these big luxury properties. But let's take it a step further and that's where Wealth Engine comes in. And so in this example, Andrew, you guys offer uh, one of the tools that you guys offer for real estate agents is what you call your Wealth Engine search tool, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So talk to me about this. So Eric, Eric LeBan in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, contacts me. Walk me through uh, an example of what your service would do in this scenario. Absolutely. So uh, to put it pretty simply, I would type in Eric LeBan's name into our person search, and um, I would search that individual's profile. Now, we can also drill down based on location. If I know he's coming from a specific city or state, um, that may, if there's multiple Eric LeBans out there, I can drill down very quickly. Um, But when I dive into that Eric LeBan profile, we'll have a wealth analysis for the individual, as well as the data sources that we're collecting, showing us background in real estate, business profession, uh, nonprofit board membership, as well as charitable and political donations, and and other things of that nature. Awesome. And so uh, if we know that Eric is coming from Chicago or uh, Des Moines, Iowa, your search, does it give some kind of probability? In other words, hey, we're you know, we're confident that this is the right individual or you just know by process of elimination if there's a lot of Eric LeBans and based on their city, et cetera? Correct. It would be a process of elimination and also um, sort of prioritizing, you know, those Eric's by the completeness of their profile, surfacing, you know, the, the one, you know, the wealthiest or the Eric with the most information to the top, if there are multiple Eric LeBans. With somebody who's got a pretty unique name, I'm sure uh, you'd be able to drill to that profile or that individual pretty quickly. Okay. And so what other information about Eric? So you're talking about what kind of uh, contributions, if they, you know, if they give back, if they donate, uh, did, correct? That's correct. Um, and What other information? Right. So we'll be pulling from over 50 different data sources to compile uh, any profile on Wealth Engine. And this will include, you know, current and past real estate, uh, current and past business information, luxury items they might own like a boat or a plane, insider stock information, so on and so forth. All right. right, So if they own a boat or a plane, uh, talk to me about, um, you know, if they contributed to, you know, the Democratic or the Republican Party or a candidate, does does it show that? That's correct. It'll show uh, political donations, federal election contributions, 
as well as charitable donations, as well as any board memberships or foundations that are tied to the individual to see uh, beyond, you know, the giving or the business stature, you know, as well as influence that they might have in the community. All right. So those of you that are listening, this is huge. So I have one client right now. Many of you know I I do practice, so I'm not just a luxury trainer and founder of the certification, but I practice what I preach. And so one of the properties that we're representing is what Architectural Digest named the most beautiful home for sale in Illinois. It's listed at $9.5 million. It's the Empire House. If you watch the TV show, have heard of the TV show Empire on Fox. Uh, this is the the main character's house. It's on the market for $9.5 million. And my client requires, of course, he wants to know the names of the individuals that are going to see the home ahead of time. So he'll sign a non-disclosure or confidentiality agreement, but he wants to see the names. We've had famous people see it, etc. But my client will go so much, I'm, I'm not suggesting this, but th- talk about trying to build some kind of affinity with the prospective buyer my client will look up, he might use your service, for all I know, Andrew, he'll look up their their political affiliation, and then in his library, he'll have those types of books out. So, for example, before the election a couple of years ago, if they were a Democrat, a vote, registered Democrat, he'd have books out about Hillary because she was the Democratic uh, candidate. And if they were Republicans, he'd have stuff on, on Trump. And so you might think this is going over the top, but again, People buy on emotion, and they justify on logic. And so um, what Andrew just shared with us is their political contributions, if they're on a nonprofit board, et cetera, build some kind of affinity, okay, build some kind of affinity, and you will skyrocket your conversion. Now, again, I always tell real estate agents, stay away from politics and religion. You know, Michael Jordan was once asked, why don't uh, he, he doesn't talk politics? And he says, because Repu- Republicans buy sneakers, too. So don't forget both the Republicans and Democrats buy large houses. But if there's a way that if you do have some kind of affinity and your views are very similar to a potential buyer or buyer's agent, for that matter, then it makes for a smoother process and less friction, which will increase the probability that perhaps they'll buy your property versus the competition. So let me just circle back. You got Eric LeBan, he comes through, you search him through your wealth engine search tool. It tells you about the properties that he owned or owned previously, it tells you a little bit about financially, uh, stocks. Uh, polit- politics, what they contribute to. Is there any other information that you think the, the listeners uh, would would you know benefit from, Andrew? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the great things that we do is we provide a wealth summary for an Eric LeBand. Um, that way, if I don't want to get into all those weeds, I can clearly see um, you know his net worth range, his investable assets. Uh, or, or his income level to uh, understand if he, if he is an appropriate buyer, as well as, you know, that differentiation between, you know, it, your net worth and investable assets, understanding if all of that money is already tied up in real estate or if it's liquid uh, and, uh, and available for them to, you know, purchase, you know, a $5 million property. All right. So great tool um, for if people want more information on that tool that you guys provide. And again, it, it, it's not free. I mean, this is a, a service that um, is worth investing in, in my personal opinion. That's why we're forming a, a, a partnership with you guys. But go ahead and explain, if they want more information on this Wealth Engine search tool, uh, where should they go, Andrew? So you can visit the Wealth Engine website. It's at wealthengine.com. Okay. And we'll have a lot of uh, documentation and, and use cases and examples in there as well. Perfect. All right, and we also have Anna on the call, and Anna's going to talk about another great tool. Uh, Again, many agents are like, hey, I'm breaking into luxury or I'm selling luxury, but I need to keep filling the pipeline with more luxury clients, whether it be buyers or sellers. And if that's something that you're interested in, Anna and I are going to talk, and she's going to talk uh, about your prospecting tool. So talk to me a little bit about prospecting for high-end and luxury clients, Anna. Sure, happy to. 
Uh, yeah, so, you know, sometimes you, you don't have those Eric LeBans, uh, you know, calling you up or knocking down your door. You have to go out and find them yourself. Uh, yeah. And that's really where, where we prospect comes in. Uh, so the tool, our, our database of all these profiles uh, contains, you know, profiles on roughly about uh, 90% of U.S. households. There's over 250 million profiles in there. Uh, so how can you, you know, you can go in there and build a list of, you know, your best ideal potential buyer for your listing uh, based on a number of criteria and attributes. So the tool allows you to search profiles uh, by using some of that criteria. So for example, I'm going to, you know, go in and search, you know, the entire Albuquerque metropolitan area uh, for folks who have XYZ net worth, right, are really going to have XYZ, you know, investable assets. You know, they're at the right wealth range to afford my listing. Uh, but then I can even drill deeper and say, you know, I probably want to target uh, folks with certain demographic characteristics, right? People in this age range are probably more likely to be, you know, a, you know to be appealed uh, by this particular listing. Uh, so it'll allow you to really kind of narrow down uh, and keep providing you with a number. It's basically a query system. It yeah. tells you how many people meet your criteria as you continue to build your query. Uh, you can start very broad and then just get more and more specific. So, for example, if that listing had uh, was a waterfront property, right? You could actually narrow it down by only people who are boat owners, right? So you would only get, you know, individuals who met all those wealth criteria, but then also had the interest uh, in the, in the, you know, obviously the, the stronger likelihood that they'd be interested in a waterfront property. Um, mm -hmm. So it allows you to really narrow it down. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you, you download the list. You've got their name, their address, their email, their phone number. Uh, you go out and you can reach out to them. So it really allows you to kind of build a targeted uh, list and then, you know, decide how you want to approach them uh, from, from there. How powerful would that be? So you, you get a $5 million, well, let's say you don't even get the listing. You're on a $5 million listing appointment and you want to differentiate yourself versus the competition. How powerful would that be? to go to the seller and say, hey, I, I already have a, a targeted list, right, of uh, let's just say it's a, a property on the water. I already have a targeted list to people that are bone aficionados, they own a plane, and they have a, uh, a, a, a worth, a net worth of blank. And you want to talk about differentiate yourself. Now, besides address is concerned, do you have email addresses? Uh, we do, absolutely, yeah. So not every profile has an email address. Um, not every profile has a phone number. Uh, every okay. profile at least is going to have an address, you know, a residential or home address. Sure. Um, sure. But, yeah, but you, when you do the searching in the tool, it will allow you to limit it and say, well, only send me back records of people that you do have email addresses for. You know, that way if you're going to do Perfect. a big you know, email campaign, you can just narrow your focus with that as well. Yeah, so if you have a big email campaign, an email blast, um, you can even have some people do some research based on those email addresses. Um, you can upload uh, those emails to Facebook and do a custom audience, and so you're creating a marketing piece that just targets th those individuals or AdWorks or whatever it might be. So some really good tools and resources there. Again, I tell agents all the time, you really need to know who your potential buyer is. I call it an avatar. So you're selling one, two, three Elm Street for $5 million. You know, you need to know based on lifestyle and interest, you know, who the potential buyer might be. And again, you got to, you know, be careful with fair housing and everything else. Check with your, your managing broker if you're not sure. But wouldn't it be powerful to, to really zoom in on your potential buyer and be able to communicate with them prior to going to market, right? The, the, the coming soon strategies or whatever it might be, whether it be direct mail, just listed postcards or digital mailing. So, very good information there, Anna. Um, so you have a tool to look people up, making sure they're qualified, and you also have a, a, a prospecting tool to, to target some potential buyers, which, oh, by the way, could be potential sellers, of course, as well. Hey there, it's Michael Lafito. Thanks again for listening to our podcast. If you are interested in signing up for our luxury listing specialist certification, or if you want additional information on how you can dominate selling higher end homes in your marketplace, make sure you go to luxurylistingspecialist.com. Talk to us about some of these free reports that I kind of alluded to in the beginning. There's two reports that you guys have released in the last year, and I've read them both. I found them to be very valuable. The first one is um, which we won't talk as much upon, is the Millennial Report. T talk to me a little bit about that, either one of you. Sure, I'd be happy to. 
Um, so, yeah, as, as Andrew and I both kind of talked about, right, we have we collect data from, you know, a lot of different data sources. We merge that together, build the profiles. Uh, we do a lot more with that data. Uh, and that is, again, build, you know, put together some of these really insightful reports. Uh, so the millennial report, you know, takes all of those lifestyle and wealth attributes that we've collected uh, and kind of gives you, you know, sort of a high level overview of, you know, what are the commonalities we're seeing in, you know, in the millennials example, you know, where do they tend to live? What kind of cars do they drive? Uh, how they have, how they're spending their money? How many properties do they own? What types of properties they own, right? Uh, you really can get a much sort of a more broad picture uh, but then again, you know, really be able to kind of see what makes this, this group tick. Uh, and again, we use all that data to kind of, you know, give you this nice profile of these are some of the common trends, you know, we're seeing with this group. And you can obviously use that in terms of how you choose to, you know, market to them and, and, and engage with them. That's excellent. So the millennials, is there one or two nuggets that, that the readers will be uh, really surprised by from your millennial report? I apologize. I don't have the report right in front of me. Oh, so the answer is yes. I, I can <laughs> tell you. I read it, and I, looking through it, some of it affirmed what I thought I already knew. And uh, there's definitely some interesting perspectives in the Millennial Report. And, again, you stick around at the end. We'll share with you uh, where you can get that. So the other report that I found to be fascinating was uh, what you guys are calling your 2019 U.S. Millionaire Report. And so – Again, your database in this report compiled over 1,500 lifestyle and wealth data attributes, and uh, you looked at various uh, segments of high net worth individuals and ultra high net worth individuals, and you came up with, with this report. And um, it's a 14-page uh, report, and there's a lot of different things to think about, from where do they live to what kind of car do uh, millionaires drive to how do they spend their money? Do they have children? Where do they work? Uh, what are they passionate about? How many properties do they own? How old they are? And you guys cover, you know, all of that in your report. There are some really key statistics that I'd like to draw attention to. There are approximately 19 millionaire households and 30 uh, million individual millionaires in the U.S. And 12.7 percent of U.S. population is made up of millionaires. So 12, 12 percent, you know, 12 out of 100, 6 out of 50, 3 out of 25, you know, again, that's, that's impressive. So again, uh, one is the average number of children for millionaires. Uh, 2.4 is the average number of properties. Uh, 70 percent of millionaires are online uh, purchasers. Uh, one million are on a nonprofit board member and a half a million serve on a corporate board. So again, 20, a lot of data, I'm gonna throw out one more, 23% are business owners. So there's a lot of information in this, as I mentioned, 14 page report. Is there anything there that, um, that I missed that maybe uh, you wanna go into, or something you wanna go more into depth, but it sounds, you know, based on what I've read sure. and what, you know, Anna and Andrew, you guys kind of go into the top cars and the top models. And, and I was very surprised there on the top car models. I don't know if, right. um, if, if you guys were, but the top three car models in this millionaire report, I would have never guessed this. I would have thought this was in the millennial report. The top three cars are Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, and a Ford truck. Um, I was shocked by that. I'd agree. I think that was one of the, the things that, that stuck out for me as well. It, it was very surprising. You know, we, we think we, we have this persona in our minds of what that looks like, and uh, some of these insights kind of tell, say otherwise. So, yeah, I agree. You know, and then the other thing that you guys talked about in there is location, 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 and the top five zip codes for millionaires and the top ten states. The top ten sta states, um, I'm not that all surprised because I, I do a lot of research and data based on – you know, how many million-dollar homes are being sold, et cetera. And the top 10 states, 10th uh, is Pennsylvania, 9th is Illinois, 8th is Washington, 7th is Virginia, 6th is Massachusetts, 5th, New Jersey, 4th, Texas, 3rd, Florida, number 2 is New York, and number 1 is California. So I, I do know that some of those states, people are getting out of Dodge because of high taxes, but it's still really important for you to be educated. The more education you have – your confidence will grow. Grow your knowledge and your confidence will grow. And these are two great free reports, the Millennial Report 
and the Millionaire Report. And if anybody wants more information about your company, Wealth Engine, what's the best way for them to find out more information? So they can visit the Wealth Engine website at wealthengine.com. And they can also email me, myself, uh, Andrew Rosenblatt at A Rosenblatt, A R O S E N B L A T T at wealthengine.com. And we can do a personalized walkthrough. On the Wealth Engine uh, website itself, there are a lot of uh, additional resources and, and information, including uh, some you know, testimonials and, and some case studies and success stories, so lots of and additional publications uh, in addition to those two reports. Uh, so I'd encourage you to, to browse there as well. Okay, perfect. And we will be making the reports available if you aren't on our email list. Uh, you should be, <laughs> but if you're not on our email list, we'll be making these uh, available to you. But if you have any questions about today's podcast or if you have any recommendations, as I mentioned, you know, in my previous episodes, please send us an email. Uh, my personal email is michael at marketingluxurygroup.com, michael at marketingluxurygroup. If you have any questions about what was covered today, if you'd like to get a copy of the report and for whatever reason you couldn't download it, you know, let us know. And uh, again, Michael at marketingluxurygroup.com. A couple things that I want to remind you. Again, as we're going into the, the busy fall season and you're looking to differentiate yourself even more, you really should check out our certification. Luxury Listing Specialist is the name of the certification. Go to luxurylistingspecialist.com. We just released a new website. We're really excited about it. We just released a new back office membership site. We're really excited about it. So some really exciting things them better, quicker, faster, um, and we're excited about it. Check it out, luxurylistingspecials.com. And don't forget to check out our swag gear. Go to luxuryspecialistgear.com. Again, my name is Michael Lafito. Keep raising the bar in real estate. Again, keep adding more high-end and luxury properties to your portfolio. And if you haven't listened to our previous episode from a few uh, weeks back, Check out our podcast from a few weeks back where we interviewed a gentleman who said that he believes that the average listing commission in the U.S. is going to drop from 5.08%. According to Real Trends, the, the current average listing is 5.08% across the U.S. He believes the average listing commission is going to drop to 3.64%. So that is a huge drop. That's a 40% drop. Now, the good news for you, Kevin Foreman is his name, Kevin Foreman. The good news for you is even if commissions do go down, but if you can, let's say they go down 20%, but you can increase your average sale price of a property you represent by 35%, you will still give yourself a 15% raise. So again, bring more value to the table. The more value you can bring to the table, you don't have to compete by lowering your fee. You can protect your fee, and you can bring more value to the industry, which is good for us all. Again, I'm all about raising the bar. Prove others wrong. My name is Michael Lafito. Go make somebody's day. Shoot us an email if you have any questions, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com. Thanks, you guys. Again, Anna and Andrew, you guys were awesome. Go check out wealthengine.com. Some great stuff there, guys, on prospecting and searching to make sure that these high net worth individuals are, in fact, who they say they are. We've had a lot of fraudulent letters uh, in our industry. I came across a fraudulent letter recently as well, and that's why I felt like this is a perfect time to bring these guys on. Thanks again for your time. Michael Lafito, LuxuryListingSpecials.com. Remember, it's not the market, it's the marketing. Take care. 